salutations traveler is that that's how i should start all of these <laughs> salutations traveler and welcome to pondering the morb no i'm so used to doing morbius puns <laughs> uh, salutations traveler and welcome to pondering the orb a segment on youtube videos what i'm doing youtube videos to talk about patreon stuff that i'm doing kunk who's kind of the technical ge genius you know we work closely together he had the brilliant idea to advertise and so i'm doing that i'm going to talk through my patreon releases if you don't know what they are or if you know you maybe need some help kind of figuring them out you know that's what this is for so Pondering the Orb. The first one that came out in January, I started the Patreon in January, so the first release was uh, a Warlock subclass. In D&D 5e, the characters have different subclasses, and Warlocks, their subclass is based on which deity they contract with. With Again, Warlocks, they have petitioned a deity or made some sort of pact for in exchange for magical powers. You know, the obvious one being you sell your soul to the devil for magical powers. So that's the idea for this warlock subclass. It is a pact with a patron deity known as the Big Cool Eye. And the Big Cool Eye is the basis for a cult known as the Cult of the Big Cool Eye. Um, <laughs> I made up the Cult of the Big Cool Eye um, during a drawing challenge, I was drawing monsters and stuff, and then as I drew them, it kind of gave me lore ideas, and I would write a little bit about the lore, and I drew a frog, you know, here it is, um, it's Fumbus Burlsnatch, um, the cult leader who has this giant beach ball sized eye, and I just like that picture, and then I was like, well, what justifies this? And it's like, oh, of course, it's a cult that wants to make everyone's eyes giant and cool, which is obviously a really weird and disturbing goal, but you know, that's what they do. So the cult of the big cool eye, um, you know, they worship the big cool eye, who is this eldritch entity that wants to reshape the world in its image, which is to say, you know, in the shape of a big cool eye. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, we're going to talk about the actual cult itself a bit later because I have another Patreon release that goes into depth about the cult. But, you know, for now, we're just going to focus on the character option for the warlock subclass. Basically, every uh, Warlock subclass is going to get an expanded spell list that kind of, uh, you know, gives them more options in combat. Warlocks generally have a pretty limited spell list, so the expanded spells really can give you a, a direction, like a thematic leaning. The spells for the Cult of the Big Cool Eye class of Warlock are going to mostly focus on debuffs because this subclass is like a debuff kind of curse-based subclass. Um, I don't know, I haven't seen very many kind of character options that kind of focus on that idea. So that's kind of the direction I went in. So you get some debuff, like bestow curse and such. And then you also get access to an ability called gift of the magi. And that's a pun, you know, I, uh, magi, it's, yeah, cut that. So what this ability does is, you know, it's the cult of the big cool eye, of course, as you get initiated into the cult, a magical ritual transforms your eye and makes it big and cool. But you know, early stage big and cool eyes just kind of look like uh, you have pink eye. So you just kind of look diseased. <laughs> um, but you know, as a, as a bonus, if you're trying to intimidate someone with your eye, you're going to do a better job at that because you look diseased. And you also get to cast Eldritch Beams out of your eye, Eldritch Blast out of your eye, and you get a minor damage bonus to your Eldritch Blasts if you cast them out of your eye. So at level six, you get the ability Evil Eye, which makes your eye grow bigger in size, roughly the size of a grapefruit or something. So you know you're getting big and cool eyes, baby. <laughs> Uh, but then it also gives you the ability to bestow a special sort of curse uh, known as the evil eye. On a person, the curse is a lot like Hex or other Warlock curse abilities. Uh, it's just a debuff. So then at level 10, you get an ability that's called Biggest Coolest. My eye is like a shark's fin. And yes, that is a reference to, what was the movie? Fuck. Fuck. What was it called? Deep Blue Sea. That's the movie. And at the end of the movie, LL Cool J does a special song known as Deepest Bluest, in parentheses, my hat is like a shark's fin. So there you go. Biggest, coolest, my eye is like a shark's fin. It actually makes a lot of sense. It's a really good joke. It's the kind of joke you don't see in D&D content. That's why they pay me the big bucks. That's why I'm the Fungin Master, baby. We haven't set that up, but I'm the Fungin Master. Don't worry about it. Uh... <laughs> 
anyway, this ability makes your eye really big, again, like probably the size of a basketball, and it's so big it actually has to support itself on an eye stalk that extends out of your out of your head, and the eye can look around, so as a result, you can't be flanked. Um, and then this also kind of grants protection against your eye. You know, obviously having a big giant eye is kind of like a big target, and uh, normally someone can just, you know, stab you right in the eye, but it grants you some minor protection to your eye because everybody's growing their eyes to offer up to the big cool eye as an offering. So he will take these eyes and grant you a spirit eye in return. But the uh, the biggest, coolest, my eye is like a shark's fin. One of the powers this giant eye grants you is the ability to warp space and time. So if you curse someone with your evil eye and they're under effects of your curse, you can dismiss the curse as a random at any time to translocate, to uh, change positions with them. So you teleport where they are and they teleport where you are. And then the last ability, which you get at level 14, is called Flight of the Valkyr Eyes. You see, there's a theme here with puns. The, the goal of the Cult of the Big Cool Eye is to achieve ocular transcendence, to transcend your own eye. So your, your eye becomes so powerful and swollen with fell magics that the that you achieve ocular transcendence and the big cool eye absorbs your eye into himself itself and as a result it bestows upon you the spirit eye which is an exact copy of your eye just made out of strange magic and um when this happens your eye can just fly around now so you can send your eye off it essentially becomes kind of like a powered up familiar um one of the biggest things about it is it shares your HP total, so you can't you can't just like uh, kill you know someone can't kill your eye <laughs> like you have to die for your eye to be slain. But the downside is if someone like captures your eye and just stabs it a bunch of times, I guess that would kill you. So you know it's a it's a trade off. But you know no one said it was easy to be in a cult. So that's uh, the cult of the big cool eye, the warlock subclass. Stay tuned for more of these. We're gonna talk you know more about the big cool eye, more about some of these other stuff I've been doing. I brewed up a lot of content and I. I am excited to talk about it. So, uh, yeah, don't let me know what you think. Testing. Dungeon. Dungeon. Fomorian Warrior. Fomorian Queen. The Fomorian Queen purchased an Oculus Quest from Morbius. Um, yeah, does we sound good? <laughs>